Right now, Cincinnati's live, local, primetime news. The Fox 19, 10 o'clock news. Your home for news. I know my daughter more better than what anybody else does. She's not like that. Right now, a new twist and a strange case. A woman posing as a boy to lure young girls. Tonight, a new victim comes forward and the suspect's mother is speaking out. Disturbing new allegations surface for a Warren County woman who police say posed as a teenage boy. Tonight, the family of a second victim has stepped forward and talked to Fox 19 first. Stefano DP Trantonio is here with their story and it's kind of twisted, Steph. Absolutely, Trisha. And just when you thought an already strange story couldn't get any stranger, a second teenage victim says she too fell for what police would say was an incredible acting job. My husband had seen him when they had um, put the handcuffs on her. What are you doing? You know, my husband said. Dorothy Dye still cannot believe her daughter Patricia was led away in handcuffs. It's been pretty hard. Very hard. It infuriates me. It, it, to me, it is very sick. But this woman, who did not it want to be just, identified, says for nearly a year, her soon-to-be stepdaughter, a 16-year-old, was dating who she thought was a 14-year-old named Matt Abrams. They referred to each other as boyfriend and girlfriend. But he was really she, and a far cry from Matt's so-called teen status. She, nearly double the victim's age, is 31-year-old Patricia Dye. I know my daughter more better than what anybody else does. She's not like that. So why do you think that the police are saying she impersonated a, a boy? Hey, she always has done that. My God, there, there's a lot of girls that always, uh, always, pose, uh, you know, as a, a guy. Dorothy Dye says her daughter has always dressed like a tomboy. She done that into the school and nothing was done. Like if the two girls, you know, touch one another, people always mix it up. They're a lesbian, and that's not true. My daughter is not a lesbian. The two met on MySpace and would chat on Facebook. And before going on dates, Matt had to meet her parents. He had to come up and meet us before she was allowed to leave. Stood in my living room, shook my fiance's hand, and passed as a boy. She says her stepdaughter went to church with Di's family. Di's father would drive them from the family's apartment at this Franklin motel. The father pretended to be the grandfather and kept referring to his daughter as Matt. Now, Patricia Di is in jail, charged with having sexual contact with another 16-year-old girl from Springboro who ran away with Di. Now, the second family says Di also wanted their daughter to run away to Tennessee, but say thank God she was strong enough not to do it. Middletown police say because their relationship never went beyond kissing, no new charges have been filed. Stefano DiPietro Antonio, Fox 19 News.